throughout Operation Cast Lead, Israel claimed to be fighting to the highest of moral standards. Now, for the first time, Israeli soldiers have painted a very different picture of abuses, shootings of civilians, and a deep contempt for Palestinians. Israeli media have reported the revelations made by soldiers during a meeting with recruits. In several instances that they spoke about, uh, people who were obviously harmless, people who were obviously non-combatants were uh, hit by IDF uh, uh, fire. One soldier told of a sniper knowingly shooting a Palestinian mother and two children dead because of a breakdown in communications. Another spoke of a company commander ordering a soldier to shoot and kill an elderly woman walking in the street 100 meters away. The lives of Palestinians is something very, very less important than the lives of our soldiers, claimed one squad commander. And speaking of anti-Arab racist graffiti left on the walls of occupied Gazan homes and other vandalism, another soldier said this is the main thing, to understand how much the IDF has fallen in the realm of ethics. Camera crews who went into Gaza after the Israeli assault found offensive graffiti. This says, if you want to be close to God, we will take care of that. Other graffiti insulted Arabs and Muslims. But the man who debriefed the soldiers said there was worse. According to the testimony of a soldier who was present at the site, an IDF unit took over a house. The family was asked to leave. By mistake, a mother with two children stepped to the left instead of walking to the right. A single sniper was on the roof. He spotted a woman and children walking in a restricted area and opened fire. I don't have enough details to say exactly how this happened, but in the end, they were killed. Not simply a case of negligence, but a wider systematic policy by the military, according to those investigating soldiers' behavior. We're not talking here about just another very aggressive mission. We're talking about here about just a different category of aggression, uh, which hasn't been around at all uh, during the Second Intifada, even in the most aggressive parts of it. Israel still disputes the figures. Human rights activist Michael Svard says the acts of violence were part of the war strategy. The fact that Israel, in Israeli eyes, the whole civilian population was the, an enemy, and that more and more as I learn about this conflict, it seems to me something horrendous, that it was a strategy for the Israeli government and the Israeli army to, let's put it in mild words, to put a pressure on the civilian population. The, the brilliant logics behind this strategy is that if you put enough pressure on the civilian population, they will, in, in their turn, put pressure on the Hamas. It was a war, said Israel, to dismantle Hamas's infrastructure. It was not a war against the people of Gaza. Palestinians have alleged in many previous operations that Israeli soldiers use civilians as human shields, treat them with contempt and steal. But the soldiers themselves suggest that the rules of engagement were especially lax in Gaza. As it always does when confronted with such testimonies, the Israeli Defense Force says it will investigate. Human rights campaigners see this as more evidence that Israel should be charged with war crimes for its actions in Gaza.